Hi and welcome to this feature cam getting started video. My name's Spencer and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use geometry to program your parts. Let's start by selecting a new milling document and I will use the wizard to set up my stock and define my initial setup location. By selecting a stock material, the automatically calculated feeds and speeds will be adjusted based on that material's properties. I'm also going to choose no multi-axis positioning. My work offset will be G55 and I will position the offset at the top center of the stock with no linear or rotational offsets. The stock properties dialog summarizes the decisions we've just made. The steps toolbox shows an easy to follow list of nine actions, which takes me through the process step by step. We've already completed step one using the new document wizard. So the next stage is to start creating our geometry. Geometry is created through the use of lines, circles, fillets, and arcs. You can either input coordinates or snap to a grid. Clip, extend, and trim functions can be used and dimensions can be created to annotate your design. These same steps have been followed to create the remaining geometry. We now need to create curves from the geometry to define our feature boundaries. Curves can be created using different methods of chaining geometry, depending on whether you're creating open or closed curves. Features can be created using either dimensions, curves, or by using a solid model. Let's start with a face feature to remove the excess material from the top of our stock. The setup offset and thickness determine the location and dimensions of the feature. The strategies and operations chosen control the methods used during machining. The tool selections are automatic, based on the operation strategy and the dimensions of the feature. The properties dialog gives the opportunity to further customize the feature and the operations. The feature is displayed in three locations. The parts list, where I can display the properties dialog, the graphics area, which allows me to visually see the feature, and the operations list, which shows the order of machining and manufacturing information. By creating a boss feature, the outer profile can be programmed. The selected curve controls the outer boundary and top of the feature. An offset can be applied to adjust the top location and dimensions can be entered to create the required shape. Strategies are specified for both roughing and finishing and tools for all operations are automatically selected. The properties dialog shows the operations contained in the feature and provides the ability to define more advanced options. I've used the same principles to create the remainder of my features. The customized manufacturing dialog allows me to specify a post processor. A variety of three axis posts are supplied with the software. Let's simulate our features to verify our programming. A 3D simulation shows a rendering of the initial stock and the removed material. By simulating in 3D, the features are checked for possible collisions. The NC code can be displayed in the results window and can be saved along with other manufacturing information. In this example, you saw how to program a part using geometry to define machinable features. For more information on how to use Autodesk FeatureCam, keep watching the videos in this series or visit the Autodesk Knowledge Network for more useful video content.